it doesn't help when like people in your chat just be like oh just go talk to t now this is long do this do that it's just like oh this is dead in it like i wanted you guys to enjoy it but i guess not I just want to make something that's enjoyable for you, man, you know what I mean? And it's tough, it's so tough. Because... For so many reasons. Low-key, the COD beta in Apex Legends did fuck me, chat. It did fuck me. Because, like... I had, like, you know that talk with Jay, and SK, and Dwayne? You could see that I was in it. You could see, like, you could feel it, right? And you could hear the things that I said. Maybe I just go and let it happen naturally and just bounce off what he says. I just don't want it to go in circles, you know? Those chats were cold, that's what I'm saying. Like the Winston one could have been cold too. But it wasn't, you know? In my opinion, because it was just him saying go talk to T and you know. is this guy you man i miss you too but what have you been doing what have you you had us worrying i'm set ah uh, i don't feel like it. um i don't know man that seems Isn't to be the reoccurring issue that i'm having what is it I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I just I, I I'm I'm talking to everyone but I just I just can't wrap my head around why it will happen. I don't get why the family are going at each other. I don't mm -hmm. get why Dwayne did what he did. I don't get why Dean did what he did. I just... I just don't know why Tommy did what he did to me. I mean, we talked to Tommy... about... what he did to you and... neither... nobody in the gang... agrees with what... he did to you. And even he... admitted that, you know? wasn't something he should have done and I talked to Dean on that mountain moments ago and I asked him why he did what he did with Marie and he said he was bored and I've been thinking about this over and over and over and over again and I was talking to Eli about it and I was telling him I hate how separated the family is and how we haven't been a family for a while. And we all have underlying problems that we just don't let out. And it builds up and blows up. And I don't want this family to fall apart. I don't know why Dwayne did what he did, but... It's nothing we can change. And I've been thinking it from both of your guys' perspective. And I think why Tommy took it so seriously and did what he did was because he already told me he was annoyed when he talked to you guys. Remember at the block when there was like eight of you guys circled around standing in the bank? Yeah. 
and he came up to you guys and asked you guys if you missed anything and everyone said no yeah but that that was sarcasm at all I don't think he took it like that well that's why I, I was in his trunk I was gonna tell him yeah I think it's all just misunderstandings miscommunication because when I look at it from his side he's already pissed he's pissed that you guys lied to him he's pissed that you guys might have lied to him because you guys might be hiding something and why, then moments why would later I, do that? I know but you got to think about it, how it looks from his side you know no I Does don't he... and I'll tell you why why because, is that because he knows me that's all Mm -hmm. And he knows he the could just talk to me. He yeah. didn't need to do what he'd done. He didn't need mm -hmm. to shoot me. But he did. I nearly died. That's mm -hmm. all. And I'll t <laughs> I, I spoke to everybody in the mandem. Yeah. I know you remember this. I said if I ever do anything wrong. I ever step out of line. You let me know. And you speak to yeah. me. And I will try my best to improve and change. Everyone knows that. I said it to everyone. Tommy knows that as well. There's been times where he spoke to me and I've, I've stepped up my game. And, you know, I tried to be better. This time, he didn't do that. He didn't even talk to me. He didn't even let me explain. He nearly fucking killed me, Batal. That's the difference. So I don't understand yeah. it from his point of view. At all. If he would have spoke to me first, it would have been a different story. But he didn't. Well, I don't know. Wrong. I don't know. I can't... I can't wrap my head around it. I really can't. You're not wrong. He did nearly kill you. But I think he's regretting that. And I feel like it's something that's going to haunt him for the rest of his life. I remember when he was going to leave all of us. Yeah. Leave the man. Because we didn't change. Yeah. What did I do, man? I spoke to him. I got everyone together. And I told everyone. And people did. People didn't. I spoke to them. And that's an opportunity that he didn't give to me. So what am I supposed to do? That's meant to be my day one. My boy. I'm his second in command. His right hand man. And he just... Shoots me like that. Doesn't make sense to me, Batar. And I don't know what no. to do. I feel embarrassed. I don't even want to be seen by the boys because I'm embarrassed. And then it's like I'm blaming everyone else but myself. Even you guys. I don't know why. And I'm I feel betrayed and hurt because I told everyone that if I step out of line, tell me. But no one told me. Because clearly I stepped out of line if Tommy shot me. But then where were the boys? They said they'd tell me if they... If I, if I did sign wrong, but they didn't. I think people are too scared, other than Tommy, to tell you what's real, you know? And I've noticed this with the other boys too, is... They stay quiet because they say it's not their place. And I keep asking them over and over again, situation after situation, why wasn't anything said? It was not my place. It was not my place. It was not my place. Even with the Teddy situation and all that, with the Jay situation, with trusting Jay, it was always, it's not my place.
we all agree with you being wrong and he should have never shot you and none of us agree with you being shot but Adam if you look at it from my and your perspective how many times do we tell the boys something and nothing changes not justifying what he did was right but I'm trying to think like he might have been you know okay but why me that's the thing but all I think you were just the camel that broke the straw's back you know that, that's not good enough for me because I'll do anything for that man. Why? I, do I anything would have. For any of us. I would have. But all he had to do was tell me. So it's it's not fair. My my life got put on the line. Set an example. It's only something you and Tommy can talk about. I can't answer that for him. Which I feel like maybe that would be best for you to get the answers you're looking for, you know? Everyone everyone keeps telling me that. But I just just don't want to talk to him. He didn't talk to me. Why should I give him that courtesy? I don't know, Adam. It's all confusing to me. I was even telling Eli I was so confused. Feels strong. I'm like, just confused and tired of everything, you know? When I hear... Family's just going to shit. I hear that, you know, Dwayne did what he did and I don't agree with it but the people that pushed him to the point should get the same treatment yeah it's not fair I don't know man I don't know I just feel Everyone. betrayed no and I get that I get that I'd be, I'd feel betrayed if I was in your shoes too. Not just by a team, but by everyone. By all of us. I Why do you be, sorry? I thought the boys would have my back, you know? I mean, a lot of, like, even Winston has told me, you know, he's wanted to confront T, that, you know, what he did was wrong. It's, it's not just about confronting T. That's what yeah. everyone keeps thinking. If I have mm -hmm. my back, I don't mean... Oh, go, go on a rampage to T, because at the end of the day, T's the leader, right? Everyone's going to be low yeah. to T, and I understand that. But by yeah. have my back, I mean by being someone like Ved. And what I mean by that is, whenever I do something wrong, or I say something dumb, Ved comes to me and says, Yo, bro, you, know, you shouldn't have done that. Don't, don't say this. Yeah. And I listen. And I, and, I, and I changed from that. You know? And I, and and I went to everyone. I went to everyone, Batar. And I said, if I ever step out of line, tell me. No one did. That's why I feel betrayed. I just feel like with you and Ved, it's different. Because you guys are boys. But then the rest of the family feel like they can't question you or step up to you because they don't think it's your place, their place, you know? See, but that's, that's the whole point. That's the issue. Because I've told them they can. Yeah. So how is that on me? Why is that my fault? I've it told isn't. them. I pulled them to the side. I said, I don't care if I'm, I'm, I'm second in command, whatever. Just, just tell me. Mm-hmm. I, once, I wanted what's best for the game. You always do, and you always have. I don't know. I feel like I've... I don't know, I must be a pretty shit second in command if I got shot. 
The whole thing is confusing to me, because if you were a shit second in command, wouldn't he just strip you from second in command in front of everyone? So I don't think that was the issue. I just feel like you were the camel that broke, you were the straw that broke the camel's back, you know? Maybe he was just having an off day that day. So every time, if I look back, the only things that make sense to me is he felt betrayed and he just went crazy, you know? Because the thing is, when I look at it from his, his perspective, you guys were hiding shit from him. He came up to all of you guys. It's not even you. It's everyone that was in that circle. Everyone in that circle. He didn't speak up. <laughs> it wasn't just you. It was everyone in that circle. And then two seconds later, he gets everything from Vince. So do you see how that looks to him? Because imagine if one of the boys did that to us. We'd be pissed, right? Yeah, but Tommy should know better. He could hear. He, he's a smart guy. He could hear yeah. the sarcasm on all of our voices, but uh, we were all mm -hmm. like, nah. You know? And yeah. I was literally waiting in his car to tell him. See, I, and that's the thing. See, I didn't is... know Vince went and spoke to him. Yeah. That's, that's the thing as well. Everyone wants to be that. I want Everyone to wants prove to themselves to T. Oh, T, look at me. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong there. But to him, you sitting in that car and not coming out until we, we put, or until he opened the trunk, seemed like you were spying on us, you know? But then, not saying that's what you were doing, but that's what it appeared to look like, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, right? If I'm his mm -hmm. day one. If yeah. I'm his second in command and I'm his right hand man. Yeah. Surely whatever he tells you, technically, I should know anyway. Technically, but I think he was looking at it. Maybe I wanted to tell him something in confidence. Maybe even again, like about you or like anything, you know? That so I was maybe in there for two minutes and I was going to hop out, but he started driving back to the block. And if I heard something that I wasn't supposed to hear, I would have hopped out and said something. I get it from his point. Yeah. I do. But... He had no right to shoot me. No, he didn't. I almost fucking died. And then all this... All this with the rest of the gang as well. Uh, what, so we, we, we just shoot our own boys now, yeah? Oh, you don't want to listen to me? Oh, let's shoot them. Like... That's oh. the thing. We had a huge argument about this. We said, we, you know, Dwayne made a point. You know, we don't shoot our boys. And what does Dwayne do the next day? Dwayne shoots Lana. The day after he said that, we don't shoot our boys. I feel like everything's just a mess right now and we just have things that we've been keeping to ourselves. Too many internal problems where we're just outlashing at each other now, you know? I think everyone's just been holding things in and like, honestly, other than today, I haven't, I haven't felt comfortable ranting to anyone other than Eli. I know. I feel the same. I just, I just don't get it, man. You know, as 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 the second in command, you should be able to speak to me. I got put there for a reason, no. 100%. And if you can't put me, if you can't speak to me, then why do I have that role? And that goes both ways, to T and to the voice. You know, if 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 that really, your boy. 
they would tell you where you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So why couldn't anyone do that for me? I can't help, I can't wrap my head around it until, and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I feel like the best thing for you maybe talk to T himself. Cause at the end of the day he's the one that messed up. But in his eyes you're also the one that messed up. See, the thing is, two spots where I feel like you messed up was, yeah, you might have been joking with him or like sarcasm, but to him, he could have been like, he lied to my face the first time. And then now I hear it all from Vince. So Adam and the boys are hiding something, hoping this would have brushed but over. I always tell him. I always That's tell him thing. everything. Give, Why would I just give you that doing chance that? to tell him? But then you shut it down, you know. And then in the car, you see how that looks. Where it's, you see how it looks, right? Imagine one of the boys that was, where the only That's time different, they though. jump out Don't of the car. Don't even relate me to them. That's different. And I told you why it's different. I am second in command. If that doesn't mean anything, then why give me that title? I think it me it holds weight. But the thing is, is like, what if it was a genuine one-on-one -on -one between me and Tommy that, like, no offense to you, but you shouldn't have even heard about, you know? Then I would have ho I, t I would have hopped out the car. Then it's too late at that point, no? No. Because you already heard it, and we're not going to dump you. As soon as you started... As soon as you would have started saying whatever it was that I wasn't supposed to hear. I would have screamed and got out of the trunk and stopped you guys That's instantly. The thing. It's a what if. And he views it as a what if too. And with stuff like this. People take it as they perceive, you know. Because there's still that one chance that you might have not jumped out of the car and just sat there, you know? Hmm. That still doesn't justify him shooting you. So what? T can't trust me now either. <laughs> it's not about... It is though. That's exactly what it's about. I feel like he might have lost trust after that. But at the end of the day... These are answers he can only... Provide you, you know? So, so I do one fr thing wrong out of everything I've done for him and the gang. And I, and I, and I get punished to that extent. I got shot because of a chance. I don't know. How can I trust T again after what he did to me? Yeah. He could have just spoke to me. Whole thing's a mess, man. Dean manipulates Dwayne. Yeah. Makes him go through pain. Mm hmm And fucks He's with him mentally. And he just walks and gets away with it. Like nothing's happened. I don't think that'll happen anymore. But it's already happened. And it always happens. You know, this, he shot me for an example, right? That's what everyone's saying. But then Dean's still doing these things, and he's... Nothing's changed. In fact, it's gotten worse. 
What's the point in any more? It's tough. Because the family is crumbling. And I'm not gonna lie. I feel like you feel the same way, but I'm just tired. I'm just tired of it all. And I agree with you. Dean needs to get punished because he always gets away with it. Oh, 50k fine here. Oh, it's nothing for Dean. But how do you punish Dean? I tried punishing him with his teddy. He gave two. Sh he didn't even get two shits. He just never pushed guns anymore. He's like, yeah, I didn't push any guns for like a week, a week and a half. See, when I've had conversations with Tommy, remember that BBMC shit during the war in Den Shaisti? He had a talk with me, and after that, <laughs> I made sure nothing like that happened, but yeah, I see, see from you your see, side, you, too, you were deprived. No, you see what you just said there, Batal. Yeah? He spoke to you. He didn't speak to me. I don't know. I just wish this was a nightmare and we'd finally wake up. Because when I look at you boys... When I look at you boys... I've never seen... My life... Continue without you guys. And every day I gotta wake up with Dwayne... Not being in the family. Ow. You been missing for a week, two weeks. Boys just doing I don't even want anymore. I just don't get why. We always fight each other. And us fighting each other is what's led to all of this. Dwayne being so, gone. All of it. Something we always do. Whether it's in wars. Whether it's this. Just always end up doing this. Remember when Tommy told us we don't pick up our act to leave? We don't fix shit. It's all over. I get that same feeling with this. From both sides. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. I don't wanna lose my family. Without you guys, I'm nothing. Well. After being shot. I'm nearly dying. I feel like I have lost my family. You know we're always here for you. Or at least I am. Maybe. But not everyone is. You know, after being shot, I come to realize that you know everyone has their own goals, their own ambitions. And they'll just do whatever they they can to reach and get closer to that point. Yeah, and that's what I was telling about. They just Eli tell about. people what they want to hear. That's that. They make it yeah. seem like everything's okay. Just tell them what they want to hear and move on. Yeah. I was having a chat with Eli about this. Everyone just so focused on themselves. We just don't really care about each other anymore. For example, Dean, he's been telling everyone he's not mentally stable. Not one person checked up on him. As much as, you know, the shit that Dean's done, we were family. 
someone should have checked up on him. Because at the end of the day, whether we have money, whether if we have businesses, whether we win wars, if we lose everything, at least we had each other. At least that was something that we'd always have. I'm not gonna lie to you. At this current burning like moment, it doesn't even feel like we have that. And I'm scared. Bill. That this feeling won't go away. Because it'll be all gone. I mean, how can it be the same? How can it go back to that? Even if everything was to be repaired and fixed. I, I give it two weeks and everyone will be acting like nothing happened like always Yo. we pick up our act and we throw it all away it's happened over and over and over again S plus cars Tommy saying he'll leave Dean being Dean and I think that's another issue. Whenever no, someone else does something wrong, it's like, oh, so out of the blue. Something needs to be done. But when Dean does something, it's just Dean being Dean. Yeah. I feel like this for your sanity. Whenever you feel comfortable, you and Tommy should talk. Sus. I don't know what. I don't even. I just don't want to hear it from him because I'm just going to hear excuses on why he did it. And it, to make sure there are no excuses. Lay it on the table why you felt this way. And hope he listens. But at the end of the day, Bato, the end of the he doesn't have to. Because he is the leader. To. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He doesn't have to. But then I... Regardless, you get your answers, you know? If he listens to you... He cares. And then what if he, he doesn't? doesn't? And he doesn't. At least you'll have your answers. Because it takes two people to fix a bridge. It's breaking from both ends. Or else it's impossible and the center will crumble. So it takes both of you to fix it from both sides or else that bridge will crumble. I feel like shit because I'm looking at how the man them are and I want to step in and I want to help and I want to fix things or at least try but at the same time I'm not because of what's gone down you know as a second in command is I'm the one who's supposed to be, you know, helping people out and, and fixing things and trying the best, but I just feel betrayed. So I don't know why. I know I need to speak too much. It's, it's tough, man. It's tough. And it's not going to be easy. But at the end of the day, if we care about each other as much as we say we do, 
There's no obstacle stopping us from each other, you know? So if he does care as much as we've we've said in the past, where family is family and we'll always be here for each other, he will listen to you. And if he doesn't, then you've gotten your answer. But you can't be stubborn, nor can he. If you guys are stubborn, no one's point will get across. You both have to go into it with an open mind and hear each other out. Yeah. You're not wrong. Are you okay with me talking to him after after this, or would you want to s stay between us? You can do what you want, but huh? We are family. We make time for each other. We listen to each other. We help call each other out on shit. We help improve each other. We help each other succeed. Like you said, everyone's so focused on their singular goals. All of that is forgotten. So... If we start fixing sh it's not going to be easy. And we're going to have to start from the root cause of the problem. And rebuild the family from the ground up. That's the no thing one. though. That's the thing. No, it, that's not going to happen. And you know what? I'm... <laughs> you know it. As well, but oh, that's not gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna be tough, but if we have, I just feel like, if I'm being honest, we've been too nice and easy with people. Because we keep going into the mindset of, oh, it's never gonna happen. It will actually never happen. But we, we need to be that change, you know. Yeah, but we're not in any position to do that. We may be second in command and third in command. Well, I was. I don't even know anymore. Right? I don't even know. I think you still are because he hasn't said anything about it. We, we may have that role, but we don't have that power. And I'm already... That's why we bring it up with T. Yeah, but I'm... Or we could have... I don't know now anymore, you know? I'm already... A dick. Let's be real. You know, people don't really like me. Imagine I start, you know, handing out these punishments and shit. It gives even more reason for people to go against me. Who knows, man? Who fucking knows? Maybe, maybe me being away and maybe people will, will realize a few things. Maybe people will realize that they actually do kind of need me. Hopefully. Thing is, people don't realize what they had until they lost it. Or until they lose it. Take it for granted. And unfortunately, that's how life is. People don't see what's in front of them until they lose it.
Yeah. I know what I have to do, but I just don't want to do it. I know it's tough. And you take your time with it, you know? Because at the end of the day, you both feel wrong. When you guys have this conversation, you both need to go into it with an open eye. Or else there's nothing will be resolved. And if you're okay with it, I kind of want to have the same conversation I had with you, with Tommy. But if you want everything said here, remain a secret, or just between me and you, I'll respect that. What do you mean? I don't have to mention anything here to Tommy, but I do want to talk to him. Well, you can talk to him. Would you be okay with that? Or would you like me not to mention anything that we talked about here? Just mention things that you feel like are important, I guess. Okay. Love big man with Mkmka or Sahat. You know I'm always here for you, right? And I mean that. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. That goes with everybody though. Why do you feel that way? I don't know. I just wish people were more open with me. Like I get that I'm a dick and I, I get that I took the most shit. But I still feel like people could be open. Then maybe I'll be open with them. And that's a different side to me. 100%. You remember that car, that chat we had on the jetty? Yeah. I told you the reason why I don't introduce you to connections and this and that because I don't want you to shit talk them, you know? And you told me, you know, you promised me you wouldn't do that. And any anyone I've introduced you to, you never, you never shit talk them, you never, you know? So I do agree with you on that end, where we need to call each other out on shit, you know? It doesn't have to be like, oh, Adam, you're, you're, you're this, you're that, it's just calling each other out on stuff and, you know, pointing things out. I, still, I just don't get what it's so hard for people to do. I think it's... people are afraid of confrontation, and especially with newer people in the gang, they just don't think it's their place. Or they just brush it off. The thing is, I understand that, though. I can see it from their perspective. You know, like MDMA, yeah. they want a chain. I, I understand that. I still, you know, I understand that. But I think at least the people with a chain should, should speak up and say something. 100%. Yeah, So many emotions that I'm feeling, man. Like, literally, T, T said to me and you, whatever we say goes, you know, be, be harsh. Their opinions don't matter. You know, if they if they want to on a spot, they need to prove themselves, yeah? But then when, mm -hmm. when we do that, I get shot for it. I just, I, 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 I can't wrap my head around it, man. I really can't. I, like, I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't know if it was just miscommunication. I don't know if it was wrong place for time. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why. And I, and I know I need to speak to him, but... Fuck, man. I feel so betrayed. I feel... It's, 
there's so many emotions I don't expect anyone to understand. And that's the issue. That's the whole point. I just, I just don't know, man. I don't know. You mentioned what we say goes, right? And then you got shot for it. Why do you think you got shot? Not saying it was justified, but if you were to deep it, why do you think you got shot? I think I got shot because I was in the trunk. And in case I heard some shit that I didn't hear. And because I didn't tell him what he wanted to know right away. You know why I think you got shot? It's because you didn't take it seriously. That's the thing between you two. Is you guys always banter with each other. And same with the other boys. And I think that's another reason why people don't call each other out. Every time he's told me to be serious, I get serious. But you weren't serious. I think that's why you got shot. Not saying it was justified, but I think that's why you got shot. That's just... See, that doesn't make sense to me. Because when it comes down to everything we do as a gang, I'm always serious. But you weren't. That's the difference. You weren't. He was serious. He was upset. He felt betrayed. But yet you took it as a joke. Even if I did. I didn't justify it. Exactly. Like I said, he could have spoke to me. He could have been like, why aren't you being serious? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you do this, this, this? He could have asked me. He could have found answers. How am I supposed to know that he's in a bad mood? How am I supposed to know that he already knew the information? I can't. I'm not a fucking no. psychic. He, he was didn't... also screaming out. Why were you in trunk? You know? He had a gun to your head. And I told him, I said that. I said I was going to tell him what he wanted to know. And I was going to, yeah. you know, quote unquote, jump out gang. You told him, yeah, and then quote unquote, jump out gang. Then you told him to put a shotgun in your mouth. Or you said, what are you going to do? You can put that shotgun in my mouth? Yeah, because that, that's, of... that's the thing though, Batal. That's what, that's the thing. always happens with me and T. He's normally the one saying it. He said it himself. I didn't I didn't even say what you're gonna do. I said put the barrel in my mouth is what I said. Yeah. Like we always tell each other to put in each other's mouth just because The what like how how am I supposed to know? I think that's one thing is we we need to start reading the room better. Yeah, but there's one thing of reading the room bell, and there's another thing when you know just talking to someone. Hundred percent. And the thing is. You know, when, when, when I was found in the trunk, everyone went around was laughing. And how does that look to, to Tommy, you know? His leadership is a joke. His, leader, his leadership means nothing. Especially around all these people. They're just giggling and laughing at him. Yeah, <laughs> but those people around him didn't know. They didn't know what I was doing in the trunk. They weren't there. They didn't know you were having a talk. They didn't know that. So that wouldn't question his leadership at all. They didn't know. That's why everyone was so confused when I got shot. Because they didn't know. He had the opportunity to talk to me at any moment. But he didn't. Whether I was That's serious or not. He could have literally said, be fucking serious. That's the thing. He gave you the opportunity to talk when he came and asked you guys what's happened today. And then he gets pulled aside by vents. And actually gets told what happened today.
see how that look. I know how it looks. This doesn't doesn't justify it. Doesn't justify it. it. Yeah. No, it doesn't justify and that's the, it. And that that right here, you see what you're doing to me? Yeah. Giving the giving me these ultimatums, right? Oh Vince did this. Oh seriousness. Yeah? Mm. That's the exact reason why I don't want to talk to Tommy. Because he's gonna say this exact same shit. He's gonna try and justify it without justifying it. I don't think either. I think I don't. I don't, I don't think either side needs to justify it. It's just both sides need to go into it with an open mind and accept what they did wrong. And I, I have no doubt that. Yeah, but Tommy now knows that shooting you was wrong. Oh, the the. the... Hit a mountain lion. Yeah. It's over there. Listen. The problem that that I have is that people are gonna say that it doesn't justify it but if it doesn't justify it then why are they bringing up that point in the first place it's because you getting shot doesn't matter but you still are in the wrong because no one should ever get shot, especially if we're family. Him shooting you is... Like, take him shooting you out of the scenario and put, replace it with him talking to you. Would you admit those things were wrong? Completely remove him shooting you out of the scenario. Right? And say he pulled you aside. Adam. This morning, I talked to you. I came to the block. I asked you, did anything happen today? No, no, nothing happened today. But like you were trying to hide something from me. Uh, you know, why are you lying to me? I hear it from Vince. You're my second in command. Why didn't I hear it from you? Why Why do you feel like you need to hide, hide it from me? Why Why did you lie to me? Next thing. You see, you you see, you see what you just said there? That's what he should have said to me. That's what it is. That's what he should have said. Yeah. So nothing justifies it. I get justify I get it. what I did was wrong. I understand That's that. Thing. And I and I understand that and I agree. Right? Mm-hmm. But it can't it, it can't even be brought into conversation. Because all That's of that gets thrown out of the window the moment he pulls the trigger. It's the same with Dwayne. Yeah? Mm. Dean mentally fucked Dwayne. He did all of this. He hit him. He shot his girl. He edged it on. Right? And now if Dwayne mm. didn't snitch, Dean would be in trouble. But because mm -hmm. Dwayne did what he did, everybody forgot what Dean did. Yeah. And because of that, right? He gets away scot free. He gets away scot free. Exactly. So with that being said, yeah. What I did was wrong, and I agree. Mm -hmm. But the moment he shot me, he was in the wrong, not me. I think that's Yeah. I mean, he should have talked to you, and that's why I say you both should go into this talk with an open mind whenever you guys do it, if you guys do have a chat, you know? Because the thing is, at the end of the day, T is 100% wrong for shooting you. 
But you were also wrong with hiding in the trunk and technically lying to his face when he asked you what happened today, you know? Because the thing is, we don't... We're human. We're not perfect. We make assumptions to fill up the gaps. And that's human nature. And... Oh, he was sitting in the trunk. What if? What if this? What if that? What if this? What if that? What if he never came out of the trunk? You see that? So many he ifs. Was so many ifs, buts, maybe is what, you know? But we, at the end of the day, we are human. And if you guys do have this conversation, you both need to go into it with an open mind. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You wronged him, he wronged you. Doesn't even a doubt. It shouldn't be that way with Dean, Dwayne, this and that, you know? Because at the end of the day, we all have feelings. We're not robot. But when we're put into positions like third in command, second command, leader, sometimes what we're just viewed as, you know? I, I just don't know whether I should... I don't know whether I should put it past me and be better and forgive him. Or if I just... I don't know. Just do my own thing, I guess. I know nothing apart from the Manda. The mandem is me. The mandem is my life. I say, make your decision after you guys talk. But make sure when you go into that conversation, the fault is on both sides. Not about the shooting. Not about lying. Separate the situations. Don't make it one thing. When you ad when you admit fault to, you know, your mistakes. Don't cancel it out with the shooting, but also go with. Don't just slide it under the rug. You know, let them know how you felt about it and why, and you know. Yeah. What comes out of the result of the shooting? At the end of the day, like I say, we're both humans and we can't read each other's minds. So, only way for us to communicate is by expressing our feelings, explain it to, explaining it to each other, you know? Yeah. I mean, I guess it would be contradicting saying you know he didn't talk to me and no one spoke to me and then me not going to speak to him yeah all right i appreciate you Patel. i appreciate you too and if you need anything i'm just a phone call away there you are. Anything you need. There you are. I got you. I got you, Batal. I got you too. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate you too. And regardless what happens in life, you're still my family. Oh, God. This conversation, you know, made me realize some things and I appreciate you bro 
anytime. If you ever need to talk, I'm always here for you. And I think the boys don't realize that is regardless how busy my day is or what I'm doing, I'll always put time aside Happy for the family, you know? King. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I can have all the money. I can have all, you know, everything I want. But if I don't have the loved ones around me, I don't have anything. That shit is pointless. Yeah. Alright. I appreciate you, Batal, man, alright? Appreciate you. Stay safe out there. You too, man. We'll see what happens. Stay safe, Patai. Right? You too. Much love, brother. Peace. Peace, peace. Yo, chat. Honestly, that was an unreal talk from Batar. <gasps> that was an unreal talk from Batar. That I might have just swung everything bro i've never seen patar speak so good in his fucking life bro what are these patar comms holy shit what are these patar comms bro what